Okay. I said I really wanted him in May. I'll be honest, I forgot. I thought it was tomorrow. <laughs> you won't feel tomorrow, because it's usually when like most game companies update their like games. like a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Yeah, it's usually like a Tuesday, right, where they like update their games and stuff like that. For a Monday, it's, it's definitely a little bit different, but... It's also because we don't have- we haven't had a Nintendo Direct all year long. Yeah, drop down? Oh, okay, I thought that Rain was actually gonna go for a drop down half waft. For him, it would've. It would've been really, really worth, too, especially with what you can do with Wario. Even if he doesn't go half waft, go for a down air, you know, stop game and watch him come back on the stage. Well, I think he did go for a down air, but the reason I was expecting half waft is because it covers a little bit more horizontal space. Uh, especially with how Pac-Man's going to recover, he's probably going to want to ride the ledge uh, on his third bounce. And if he does that, then, you know, it's really high chance of getting a uh, stage spike. But look at that shield pressure and even getting hit by his own bell. But unfortunately, Rain, not in the position with the reaction to make up and to get a hit. Yeah, that was a good empty hop bite. Uh, he knows he had pretty much rock like own pressure at the ledge. And Rock did not want to commit to anything that would have definitely got him hit, but he just got hit by a bite. I think that's like kind of one of the things for Pac-Man too, is like, you can keep Wario away. Your, your job against every matchup, honestly, is to keep Wario away. But like, in this scenario, you especially want him away from you for several reasons. And there are a lot of them that I don't even need to say, because they're pretty obvious. Like, you, especially when he has WAP, especially when he has uh, really good pressure with down tilt, a dash attack. So you gotta be careful. Landing right in front of Rain is so dangerous, especially when you're at like a higher percent. Wario has access to those really fast kill uh, kill hits, like the F tilt. Yeah. So this is the five finger death slab. Oh, good, good toss. I have to give him credit there. I think I would have preferred to go for a Z jump up right towards the stage, but still, like he's doing, he's pretty much Joe's. Like I really have to toss it with you guys, Wario. He's already got the yellow glow on him. He's not gonna waste up this stock. So if I were a rock, I'll probably disregard that until the next stock. But if you can get rid of Wario at 161 right now, you'd be looking pretty crisp and maybe force him to go for a walk if it gets too late. Okay, catching Rock, uh, stalling in the air, punishing with the back air. You can see the first stock gets taken with 171% on Wario. Now yeah. Wario's, Wario's a heavy boy too, but even this looks a little bit scary. Go for the grab? Okay, nice. He's looking to play it safe on the ledge. I think if I were a rock earlier, like when he got hit by back air, you could just drop down. I mean, because you still have pellet, and pellet gives you that super armor and then tangibility that you will need when you're below the stage. That's why you see Pac-Man sometimes go to opt for it, so. But I, re I still respect his choice. Like, he wants to come back that way. Couple trades here into the apple, no combo. Good stuff though, I mean, at least he gets the percent, like he knows, he's got water at 58, he's gonna have to burn Waff one way or another, and that, that time is coming up pretty close. I mean, essentially like being on your second stock and having Wario already have access to Waff is really scary, because you're not sure, like, okay, is he gonna, is he let it rip now, and possibly go for half Waff in, in stock number three, or does he try and you try and get an early kill for for number three. Yeah, I think for Rock he's doing pretty solid. Like he's got three minutes on the clock. Oh, that's a, oh, oh, the space. So it. unfortunate. Yeah, that's right. The space that back here that definitely Ooh, would have been the trade. cleanup that that Rock needed, but still trade going in Rock's favor and now forcing Rain. Now he really needs to to commit to using this waft. Yeah, so. I think I think that's what Rock knows. We got one twenty percent. Like. At this point, if he brings it up to two minutes, even if he does lose the stock here, he'll have a lot against Rain because you only get waff after two minutes, uh, and you only get half waff that one minute, and then that one minute pressure is going to be a lot to deal with, especially against Pac-Man over Wi-Fi. That's true. Okay, we see more hydrants coming. 131%. Just you know, Rain doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to use the the waff. I wouldn't either. I would much yeah, yeah. rather try and try and find it. You know, at this point, saving it for stock number three. Yeah. But you got to get the stock number three, and that's where the difficulty is. Yeah, 156. Pac-Man has all the tools to keep you away. I think for Rain, it's kind of like you kind of have to calm yourself down. If you're in the middle of a fight, you notice your opponent's just throwing everything at you. Kind of take a step back and then look to see at where the angle is where you can actually attack. 
Oh, oh. Yep, and that's gonna do it. That's gonna actually do it. I was gonna say, like, he got hit at an angle where I felt like pellet was gonna be something cool to do, and my thoughts came to fruition. Yeah, got hit by the Waka Waka, huh? Yeah. Also, kind of crazy. Pac-Man's been having a really interesting year. He has like, he has like, a, I think, I think that one versus one hundred Pac-Man game is coming to Switch. He has a Minecraft game now, like a first-person Minecraft, like Pac-Man, like thing. He got beat up by Min Min and all the other Arms characters. Like, yeah, but I, a... I feel like I honestly feel like him getting beat up by all the Arms characters in Min Min was just fan service. <laughs> like. <laughs> Nintendo like, yeah, yeah, looking yeah. at it's like, all right, who is just being the demon, or who is everyone complaining about? And I don't think anyone was, com or not as many people were complaining about Sonic at that point. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, who knows if well, everyone complaining about Sonic just a little bit earlier? That could have been Sonic getting beat up. I, feel, I but I, I also feel like yeah, because that was me. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It wasn't until like recently. I think like I want to say in May is when like. Yeah, I would say in May is when Sonic's actually started getting a lot of more hate. Nonetheless, Pac-Man gets a lot of hate online here and Rain uh, so far. I mean, still has well, he has two more games to go up against Rock, so we'll see how, what he can do. If he can actually get this game off here, good bite. Actually, Small I heal. This is still a best of three. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Rain's I mean, he, gotta, Rain, he's got to collect up right? this game to to get to get another chance. Yep. Whereas Rock, you know. One game away from winner's semis. Aw, oh, careful when you grab your own bike, buddy. Nice down air. Good forward tilt there. Uh, that's one thing about Hydrant. Uh, the health slowly diminishes. I think it's got like a 60... If I'm not, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like a 60 health threshold, and then it slowly deteriorates over time. But, like, everything in Ultimate, and even Smash 4 was true, where your character or items that have health have to load in the health, so you can actually hit it pretty early before it hits the max health. Okay, well, Rain, or Rock's been doing a great job of putting out the bell uh, in these awkward positions, but again, getting hit <laughs> by the same, the Waka Waka, man! Damn, I, I, I just felt like, I like, okay. I don't want to say it was Rain's fault, but he was in that prime position where like, I feel like he should have stayed a little bit back too. And I get being on the platform, but you got to be a little more cautious, like especially with the way that Rock has been moving around with a lot of the items. I feel like Rain is just playing not as, even, yep. as he was in game one, uh, because we've already seen Rain get hit by the bell like four times. Yeah. Just in this game alone. Back here once more again, 142. I mean, Pac Man. Nice. Okay. I thought opportunity was pretty good. He already slapped the hydrant. That's enough pressure there for a neutral get up or a roll get up. And then a back air was pretty much to seal the deal just to, just to be safe. A double jump here. If our rain, I'm telling you right now, burning the waft at this opportunity wouldn't hurt too much. It's usually like I want to say the first anywhere like from. Safely, I would say zero to like 50% is when you would see like a Wario try to go for like a WAP kill just because it's much more worth it at 60% and up. It feels like, you know, I've seen a couple Warios at Gimps. So at that point, it all depends on how Rain chooses to expend it. I think at this point, it doesn't feel like it would be worth, but you do get a lot of momentum. You get it right yeah. now. Well, I just been informed that we've been saying the name wrong this whole time. It's actually Rocky, not just Rock. Uh. But. Put the Y, man, or at least put the <laughs> Enya. Put the Enya on the... Well, Are you I'm not... that on, on Wi-Fi? Nah, I don't think you... Yeah, you actually can. you can. can. Yeah, you, yeah, can. yeah you, can. you can. Rocky would be with a Y, man. And it's, it's cool, man, but the, look at the, there's that F-Tilt that we were talking about a little bit earlier. Catching the two-frame on Rocky. Now Rain trying to set up. Oh, unfortunately, he missed the second hit of Nair, which is really that link that will allow... Uh, rain to go for the zero to death with the walk. Yeah. Are you be sorry? Are you able to see the chat Z fly? Because I cannot see the chat. Yeah, I can see the chat. I can see everything. I'm Z fly. I don't know why I can't see the chat. Yeah. Well, maybe you got Ben. You think about that. What have you done recently, Ben? Nothing. Okay. Like, uh, now, 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 now I'm here. I guess. I don't know. I have. Oh, I'm okay. 
I'm a mod, so it's really weird. <laughs> okay, we're Rocky. Getting the dash dance, and I like that. Just applying pressure by having Bill in hand and then using his movement to see when Rain is going to drop shield. Uh, good call from Rain, though. Dropping shield, just retreating uh, when Rocky dashed back. That was a prime moment. But dropping from the platform and just letting letting whiff or waft rip. So unfortunate timing. I think he just needed to drop down a little bit lower. That might have been a good pressure tool, but Rocky's going to clean up. Yeah. Unstock a piece. Yeah, 97% here. Rain, like you said, he needs to clutch out this game so he can at least get another shot. But I think the way that Rocky can definitely move is he's really good at using those items to build up momentum with each hit and then combo off of them. Even if it's not like a full combo, like dealing at least 20 to 40%, that's worth a lot. Good stuff to solve himself with the hydrant there and even buy himself some time. Unfortunate right there, the hydrant will also be the reason why he died. The actual, it got pushed by the, the bike got pushed by the water. Yep. His own mechanic working against him. Rocky getting hit by, by a motorcycle getting jettisoned at him in a high speed. Probably too fast to actually react. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it was a little too fast. And I thought, yeah. Feels bad, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. Like, that's a, that's a taste of real medicine at that point. Yeah, I mean, you have to know how your own traps are gonna work. Uh, so, Rocky should have known. But that's the equivalent of stepping into your own claymore. Alrighty, well, like I said, right, Rain? He actually does manage to clutch it out here at the last second. I wouldn't call it too much clutch, but definitely enough that he can actually buy himself up to game three. Yeah, here we go to game three. Uh, starting, we're going to Smashville. It's an interesting choice for, for these two. I think, Why, because I think, uh, I think the combo game from Wario is just going to be excelled here due to the platform. I think that's what it is. I don't know who made the stage choice, but if I were, if this is Rocky's or... counter pick, so. Oh, okay. Hmm. I think about it as pressure for Pac-Man. Like Pac-Man could deal enough pressure. Like we, he's actually been doing a pretty solid job of pressuring with projectiles and doing enough work here. I mean, and there's less space for your opponent to run away, the more space for you to actually like go in. If we ever see Rock retreat, it's because he's going to the ledge, and he'll come up pretty well from that. So I was gonna say, I think for Rocky, it makes sense for the stage. But yeah, Wario definitely accelerates the combo game. And I will say this, that um, I think Pac-Man's like one of the few characters in the game that can actually cover both the stage and the platform at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> that is actually true. So I feel like Pac-Man does pretty decently on smaller stages, as opposed to some other Soners. Man, I would never do that. I would never... <laughs> Chat's like, he wants to make it exciting for him. I would never do that, man. I'm trying to take the W. It gets exciting when I'm in Grand Finals. That's when it's exciting for myself. Is it though? Yes, because Is I'm in it grand final. <laughs> it's, it's not making it exciting. Oh, I guess they are saying it's exciting for himself. Well, I mean, when you think about like how Rocky has been playing. He has been doing a fairly good job of boxing rain, uh, especially with like the quick aerials that Pac-Man has access to. Yeah. So it makes sense if he would want like a smaller stage. I don't know why a zoning character has access to, to fast aerials, but hey, I'm not a designer. I mean, the, the I way, know? yeah, I mean, the way it's like, oh, I want to make it exciting for myself. That's a Goku giving the Cell a Sensu Bean level of stuff. I'll never forget that, man. Goku really did just hand Cell a Sensu Bean to fight his son. Yeah, and then he watched as Goku got punched over yeah. and over. It's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, happy Father's Day, by the way. <laughs> In my opinion, Goku's top 10 works anime to so all time. Okay, well, Rain's been doing a great job of weaving in and out against Rocky, slowly bringing up the percents and a horrible landing at the ledge. You know Rocky wanted to grab the ledge, not land on the ledge. And Rain's gonna give him that big slap to bring the stocks in his favor. Here we go, Rocky answering back. Oh, the bell. Whiffing, and here we go. Is this gonna? Oh, oh, oh it's so unfortunate. Oh, I thought we were gonna hard. see it. Yeah, a little too hard. Usually, like the for sure thing that you see Wario get anything for waft as, as a waft finisher combo would be like, there. 
you know, things like Nair. And I think up air, I've never really seen it from up air, granted, but like, maybe Rain used something I didn't, and then that's what kind of caused Loft to not work. I think at lower percents, up air is is one of the, it's part of the combo. So I think you do like two up airs into an up tilt, and then it's just dead. I like, I, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen like up tilts to up air to Loft, but I've never really seen like the way Rain was doing it. But like, yeah, like you said. Nonetheless, he lost the loft here. 129 and 96. I, will, I wouldn't call it that far apart from, from being in a bad situation, because just like that, Rain was able to take the stock. It was actually more even than, than the percents. But Rocky answering with Bell into back here. Another Bell just dropping your shields at the incorrect time. So unfortunate for Rain, but Rocky bringing it to a game three last stock. And there's that coverage I was talking about earlier. Pac-Man is able to cover both the platform and the stage by utilizing either the key or the Galaga and breaking the, the Hydrant at the same time. Yeah. It's just a, a whole lot of projectiles coming your way and you gotta deal with it. Yeah, Hydrant does a lot of damage on shield, but also like it's just a pretty thing to, scary thing to get hit by. Plus the Galaga, plus probably Pac-Man's forward error in there. Yeah, it's a lot to worry about too. It's kind of like a damn if you do, damn if you don't situation with your shield. Yeah, especially if Pac-Man uses those projectiles to approach. You know, you gotta deal with, okay, I have the Hydrant, do I go high and deal with Galaga? Uh, and then I'm pretty sure like some aerials are gonna be coming my way. You pretty much have to choose when you wanna fight. And look at this, Rain is definitely choosing when he wants to fight because he is avoiding that bell. He's saying, I got hit by that already 10 times. I'm not gonna deal with it. I'm just gonna wait for you to whiff it. Now trying to set up at the ledge again. F tilt's not going to, not going to connect. Yeah. Rain has all the reason. He has like waft pretty much ready here, and he can still build up a half waft if he needs to. So yeah, getting he... hit by Bell center stage isn't like that bad at the moment, and as long as it's out of reach of an F smash. Yeah. Oh, good stuff. The rain finally gets the fruit here. That was actually. I would have tossed Spike up, but hey man, the situation, do what you want, and you clutch it out when you can. Rain takes it up 2-1 over Rock, so really good patience.